Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today, as you can tell, I have a special guest and that is my mom. How excited are you on a scale of 1 to 10 to be in today's 11. video? 11. Wow. <laughs> so today my mom is going to be asking me, I guess you could say like awkward and uncomfortable questions. I think this video is going to be a little weird because I do Q&As like this, right? But I don't specifically tell my mom the answers. So it's going to be like weird. I don't know. So we're actually getting ready to go to a church event. Mother Mother daughter like they dance night so we're gonna get ready do our makeup and then just have a little chit chat she's gonna get to know me better than she already does <laughs> ignore her eye patches <laughs> that's the beginning of my routine <laughs> so anyways let's start with our makeup and then she'll start asking the questions kiss count is that what we're starting with yep <laughs> um can i look at my phone <laughs> wrote it down yeah <laughs> I Can you just guess? I think it's it's seven or six. It's six or seven. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my gosh, what Are happened? Are you taking the pill a little too far? Moving on to my concealer. What's the worst thing you've done that I don't know about? That you don't know about? Yeah. Why like, so much? You're 20 have, years old, why so much? Because I don't get enough sleep and I have really dark circles. You gotta hide them. There's two things I could tell you. <laughs> Which one you want to know? Left hand or right hand? <laughs> The worst one. This was in October. College. And we were at a dorm party and I might have had too many shots of Tito's. Of what? Tito's. What's that? Alcohol. Oh, uh-huh. And... <laughs> you puke? I did. And then I blacked out. Oh my god. I didn't uh, wake up till the next morning. I don't remember what happened. <laughs> Okay. And I stopped drinking after that until I went up to FSU this year. Let me show you. What are your thoughts? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but that was probably, I guess, the baddest thing that I've done that I did really tell you. <laughs> but that was, that was like, what? that was. I've had years. many years of drinking and I've never blacked out. That was the only time that I've done it though, so. I mean, it's not like you can go back and change the no. past. So what? Hopefully you're freaking smarter now, I guess. I don't think she liked that answer, guys. No, I don't like that one. Why? I don't know. Have you ever smoked weed? I have not, no. Are you gonna? No. Why? It's one stings and two, smoking's gross. Literally, vaping, smoking cigarettes, or just smoking weed is gross. Not or my, 20. It's not my cup of tea. No? No. But I, blackout drunk piss? My god, it was like one time. It's not like I've done it 10 times. Who keeps repeating it? You're just acting like I do that every time I drink. Dream company to work with. They want you to manifest it. Probably like a makeup brand that I like. <laughs> like Elf would be so fun. <laughs> or because everyone loves Elf. I like a lot of Tarte products, so like a makeup brand or I guess just like any clothing brand that I like. If you weren't a YouTuber, what would you be doing? I would probably obviously be in college. Blackout drunk. Why do you keep going back to that? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> it's two years ago. It's not like I'm doing it now that those days are past me. How would you describe me to your friends? How would I describe you to my friends? <laughs> I always say talk. Like in one word, talkative. Mm -hmm. When so and so came over, I was like, she's gonna talk your ear off. Like, she knows how to hold a conversation. She'll make you feel comfortable. And that you're nice, and that, I mean, you're my mom, and <laughs> she's great. <laughs> I don't know. Do you wish you had a relationship with your real dad? No, because it was my choice to not see him ever again or to talk to him. It's like everyone says, oh my gosh, your mom made you stop seeing your yeah, dad. I like that one. Blah, 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 blah. No, it was my choice choice because I would still be seeing him if I wanted to. Y'all don't know me and his relationship, so like how can you assume that it was like my mom's fault or that I want to see him? He just wasn't a father. He put in no effort. There was many times where I asked him to come see my chair competitions. He never called me on my birthday, never wrote. The only time he would write is if I was visiting him. That's the only time that he would want to deal with me is if I had to visit him. And he would force me to visit him because he was paying child support. Well, and then when you went and visited, right? You said you were upset that you weren't even with him. Yeah, I didn't see, I would go 
during like breaks and you'd still work from like nine to five. You would get home, you'd eat dinner and then I would go to bed and then I would go straight to my grandpa's house. So it's not like I was spending time with my dad and growing a relationship with him because I was with my grandparents. I grew a relationship with my grandpa and my grandma because they're the ones that babysat me, which I know that he had a job, like I understand that, but like, yeah. I don't know. He just wasn't like a father figure. Mark is more of a father figure to me. So why would I waste my time with someone that doesn't want to be a father to me when Mark wants to be a father to me? I don't know. It's no one's business either. Like it's my choice not to see my biological father. <laughs> he also sent emancipation papers. There you go. So I'm no longer legally his daughter. Well, it's not just that. It's he didn't want to be financially responsible for Basically you. what that means. <laughs> Even though he's... Do you think you were exploited as a kid from being on social media? What is something you've never told me? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's nothing like the first story that okay. I told you. I got pulled over. <laughs> Again? After Taylor Swift. With your sister? Yeah. For what? It was when we were at Taco Bell. It was 3 a.m. And there was 15 cars in line and I was behind someone and someone was coming up this way and I was facing this way so my lights were blinding the people in the car. So I turned off my lights because like I was just being like a genuine, you know, not kind person because I didn't want to blind them. Because we were sitting there for literally an hour. So we get through the drive through and the ladies like were closed. Yeah, yeah, I remember you telling yeah, me that. Yeah, so we had to go somewhere else. Uh-huh. And so I forgot to turn uh... my lights back on <laughs> because I was so upset that it was 3 a.m. We're starving. Ellie is screaming at me, everyone's hungry, like we just wanted to be home, so I mentally forgot to turn my lights back on. Uh huh. And so I'm in a turn lane, I, I start turning, someone starts riding my butt. I'm like, what? And then I finally realized that I didn't have my lights on, so I turn it on, here goes his lights. He was like, you know why I pulled you over? And I was like, I don't know what I said or what he said. You're okay, just make sure you have your lights on auto always. And I was like, okay, thanks. All so, right. yeah. Well, you got lucky. Got a, I got another warning. Second warning. <laughs> You just say, oh. Why are you laughing? You need to tell us that mouth. No, that was it. I was uh, fluttering my eyes. Too. Were you? Not too bad. <laughs> are you done with your makeup? Yeah. What? You're not doing mascara? I don't do mascara. What? I have eyebrows, I have lips, I have. I mascara. already did my lips. Oh, here's my makeup. Finished look. <laughs> what is the best advice you could give me? You? Mm -hmm. Uh, not to care what other people think. When you tell me that all the time, you should take your own advice. I don't care what people think. Mm -hmm. I beg to differ. Mm, there, I think it's everyone gets a certain point. Yeah, but you care so much. You care more than me that I don't no. ever have. No. There's certain points that you do and then you get over it. Then you think it's pathetic and funny. Are you at that stage now? Yes. Did you go through the seven stages of grief? Yes. <laughs> no, I think it's just a joke. Do you want to love like me and Mark? I don't really see you like lovey-dovey. You want to be lovey-dovey around people? And so what, you don't like PDA? No. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I don't think I ever like see you guys holding hands ever or... We have. When you were little. Before um, you knew. The only thing, I mean, of course, like if you guys have been married for so long, like I like your sarcasm, how you play around, you can be yourself around each other. But the one thing I will be taking is your, <laughs> your three kisses. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're gonna do? Yeah. You don't do that anymore, do you? Yeah. Whenever he leaves, I don't see you do it anymore. Well, when we used to live in Indiana and I was a little kid and Mark would leave or someone would leave without each other, they would For kiss. work or whatever. Yeah, they would kiss three times to say I love you. They didn't say I love you, but they just kissed three times. I mean, that's what it meant. And I like that, so I'm gonna do that. Top three drinks <laughs> that you prefer. Drinks. Alcohol drinks. Alcohol drinks? Yeah. Trulies. Uh -huh. I like Trulies. I like seltzers. So Top. those are your top three? Seltzers, like high noons, <laughs> Trulies, like claws, but those are gross. I don't I think those are gross. Mine are sex on the beach. You don't even drink. I knew that. You don't drink though. No, not now. When did you first drink? Uh, I was probably 16. 17. 17. I was gonna say I one up you then. 16 or 17. Do you want a boyfriend? Do I want a boyfriend? Yeah. Obviously. What girl doesn't want a boyfriend? To be in love and to have a significant other. What is one thing you've accomplished that you wouldn't have been able to without your mom? I would say social media. I wouldn't be where I am today if my mom didn't motivate me, push me to step out of the comfort zone and do social media because it isn't something that I think I would do because I'm just not that type of person to be social. Or... Yeah, you definitely would. No. no. Are you happy with the way I parented you? Well, yeah, because I'm actually a spectacular kid. You can vouch that. It didn't cause you any problems. I read in school, got straight A's, didn't have to worry about me, you know, being the class clown and getting in trouble with the principal and all. Are you trying to throw shade at my sister? <laughs> 
Hot and easy, honestly. Mm -hmm. I was an A plus kid. What is your biggest fear for the adult life when you move away? Being kidnapped or someone breaking into my house or apartment. <laughs> How many coats of mascara do you put on? I do a lot, but look how pretty my eyelashes are though. Do you want to start your own business? Yes, I do. I don't know what though, but I have a big dream to open like a store, not like a clothing store. I'm not going to say what, because there's going to be people that hate on it and I don't want to read it. So <laughs> yes, I do have a dream. Don't know if we'll ever get there, but I want to own some type of store. Yeah. <laughs> Are you excited to have kids over your own? Yes. Why? Because I want my own family. Mm -hmm. I want to be a mom and raise them. They want to know if I've approved of the guys you've dated. Neither. <laughs> I mean, it's not like I approved or disapproved. The first one, I literally only dated for four months, so you can't really have like an, uh, a formed opinion about someone. You don't really know someone in four months, you know? Like he came around, but like, you know what I'm saying? Well, I do. Okay. <laughs> then the second one, like that, it's not even, I'm not even gonna put my energy into that. All that matters is if she approves the next one. Cause the third one, there's that saying that's like, your first one is your puppy love relationship. The second one's your most toxic. Cause it's your rebound. What? <laughs> well, that makes no sense. You're not even, you have to listen to what I'm saying. Okay. First one, puppy love, mm -hmm. which it was the last four months, you know, look back and like, oh, like, oh, like why did that happen? Like you could care less. Mm -hmm. Second one's the most toxic, which is 100% true. And then the third Third one is the one. I also say the one you're gonna spend the rest of your life with. Like the most perfect relationship, the one. Okay. Everyone bases. I was only one too. That's such a lie. I know you got around. Well, that's like 22 then. Number 22. You little H O E. When was your first time having bumpity bump? What's bumpity bump? All I'm gonna say is that I beat teen pregnancy. That's all that matters, really. It doesn't matter what age, really. Not pregnant. Okay. Get pregnant. Last step, and that's white liner on my waterline, and then I'm done. What does your mom inspire? Anything is achievable because, I don't know, I just bought real estate books and she's become a realtor. She's been daycare owner, she's managed properties, she does social media edits, like she just like self learns. So I guess she didn't go to college, she doesn't have a degree. She's been all of those things without a degree. So, like, I don't know, I think that's inspiring for a lot of See, people. Kenzie, you're weedy. What is your favorite family? memory it's a good question to end on i would say when we went to montana not just because it was a trip but we unplugged for literally how long did we go for like seven days like we still vlogged but we weren't on our phones and like and it just was like a trip that everyone was like really happy on but it was just a fun trip like we bonded with a lot of people bonded as a family and just like did things like whitewater rafting was really fun we went zip lining which you didn't do but that was really fun just like Horse the yeah that was fun we went Had fly fishing my favorite memory is the bumps. <gasps> <laughs> These like roads literally are like a roller coaster. Let's go to the bumps, please. <laughs> and so when we were in Indy, Mark had like a truck, so they would put me on like the middle, like council. Yeah, and I would sit. And so as soon as we would go downhill, my head would like hit the roof. <laughs> it was really funny. That's all I was really little. I don't really like, remember, but that's just what I remember from what they've told me. We did it for years. So I'm gonna go to the bumps. I'm gonna go because it was so fun, it gives you butterflies. And I like adrenaline, I like roller coasters like that. So as a kid, I obviously wanted to do it. But anyways, the makeup's done. I think we should do a part two to this question where we like, I ask you questions or vice versa. Hopefully you got to know me a bit better. <laughs> I did. And I hope you guys got to know me a bit better. I feel like I opened up a little bit, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and enjoyed it. And I'll see you soon. Bye, more videos, bye guys. Bye.